Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, you will learn the steps on how to install Windows 11 on an Oracle VM Virtual Box Virtual Machine. If you plan to set up a Windows 11 Virtual Machine, you will need to install Virtual Box and download the latest ISO image of Windows 11. Go to Microsoft Evaluation Center Downloads page to download the ISO file for the evaluation version of Windows 11. Launch Oracle VM VirtualBox and follow the steps to create virtual machine to install Windows 11. Click the machine menu and select new option. Enter the name of the virtual machine you want to create. We can name it anything, but it should be meaningful. We name it Windows 11 VM. Next, we need to pick the storage location where the virtual machine will reside. By default, it picks the virtual box VM folder on C drive. But if you don't have enough space there or want to keep things separate, click on the arrow icon and select other option. Navigate to the drive or folder directory and create a new folder there. I have attached separate SSD to store the virtual machines. Let's select the folder VBox Store. Click on Select Folder. So I want to store a Windows 11 virtual machine under VBox Store folder. Next, move to the ISO Image option. Click on the arrow icon and select the other option from the drop down menu. Navigate to the folder where you have stored the Windows 11 Enterprise Evaluation ISO image file. Select the Windows 11 ISO image file and click on Open to mount the ISO image. Based on selected ISO image, the addition, type and version auto-populate. Then click on the Skip Unattended Installation checkbox and click on Next. We need at least 4 GB RAM, 64 GB storage space and 1 GHz processor of faster with 2 or more cores on a compatible 64-bit processor to install Windows 11 operating system. Select 4 GB or more system memory to allocate for the virtual machine. Here we will select 8 GB. Next, adjust the processor core slider and allocate at least 4 CPU cores to the virtual machine depending on your hardware configuration. Make sure that Enable EFI option is selected for UEFI installation. Click Next. Here we need to create a new virtual disk for the Windows 11 virtual machine. VirtualBox will preset the storage capacity to 80 GB in the Create a Virtual Disk Now option. Based on requirement, we can modify the size. In this example, I'm not going to do that. We'll go with the default virtual disk size, which is 80 GB. Click Next. Click on Finish button to create the Windows 11 virtual machine. The virtual machine will appear in the list on the left hand side. Click on Windows 11 VM and click on Start button. Let me maximize it. Press any key from your keyboard to boot up VM using the attach ISO image. After a few seconds, the Windows Setup window will appear. Select the language to install, time and currency format, and keyboard or input method. Click on Next to continue. Click on the Install Now button to start the installation process. Setup is starting. Read and accept the End User License Agreement and click on Next to continue. This window asks us to choose between Custom Installation or Upgrade. We will choose the Custom Installation option as we are going for fresh installation. Click on Custom Install Windows Only option. We can see the virtually created disk with 80 GB size. Select the disk and click on Next to begin the installation. The installation process will take a while to copy files 
and prepare the system for the first boot. If you have SSD in your system, the installation will take little time. Once the virtual machine restarts and finished setting up devices and services, Windows will ask us to select the region. Installation process is completed. Click on Restart to restart the virtual machine. Select Region Settings after the installation on the first page of the Out of the Box Experience. Choose India and click the Yes button. Select your keyboard layout settings. In our case, it will be English India. Click the Yes button again. Click the Skip button if you don't require configuring a second layout. The computer will automatically connect to the network if it uses an Ethernet connection. If you have a wireless connection, you must set up the connection manually. Security key may be required. This will check for the latest updates and if available any, it will start downloading it. Again, VM will restart automatically. Set up sign-in options. You can enter your Microsoft account email, phone number or Skype identification to create an account on this Windows 11 device. We want to create a local user account, so I'll click on Sign in options. Select a Domain Join Instead option. Enter the username which you will use to sign in on this Windows 11 computer. Let me enter name admin and click on next. Click on next to continue without setting up user account password. Confirm the privacy settings that best suit your situation by turning on or off the toggle switch for each settings. I'm going to accept default settings. Click on next to continue. Click on next and click on accept to accept the default settings since this is a virtual machine. User profile creation is in progress. This will take few more seconds. We have reached on desktop of newly installed Windows 11. After the installation on the Windows 11 virtual machine, click on Devices and select Insert Guest Additions CD Image option. Open File Explorer in the virtual machine. As we are going for the virtual boxed guest additions installation. Click on this PC from the left side. Under the Devices and Traps section, double click to open Virtual Boxed Guest Additions disk. Double click on the VBOX Windows Additions. This will launch the installer file. Click on Yes to start the installation process. Let me minimize this. Click on Next button. Click on the Next button again. Click the Install button to start the installation process. Click the Finish button to complete the Oracle VM VirtualBox Guest Additions installation and reboot our Windows 11 virtual machine. Let's click on Finish. After you complete the steps, the virtual machine will restart and you can start using Windows 11 just like on a physical machine. We can also confirm that Windows 11 Enterprise is also activated. We can see the license is valid for the next 90 days. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. That's all for this video on how to install Windows 11 on an Oracle VM VirtualBox. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.